order in the court. Now, Mr. Woodpecker, please tell us precisely what happened on the day in question. Well, there I was, Your Honor, sitting on the bench waiting for the bus. When along comes Mr. Inconsiderate and plops his oversized you-know-what right on top of me. He then threw me headlong into a tree. Luckily, a doctor witnessed the whole thing and offered his professional advice immediately. Have you recently been involved in an accident that could cause you pain and suffering for years to come? Call me. You may just get yourself a huge settlement. And that is the whole truth, Your Honorship, sir. Mr. Walrus, mm -hmm. I hereby sentence you to nurse the plaintiff, Mr. Woodpecker, back to <clears throat> health. In order to ensure that you comply with the letter of the law, I appoint this man to keep tabs on you. Do you please the mole, or it's life in prison. Offered. Ouch! Are you okay, my little bird friend and pal? Volley will take good, good care of you. There you go. Is there anything I can do for you, my little woodpecker friend and pal of mine? Wally, would you fluff my pillow? <laughs> Ooh, ow, ow. There, is that better? <gasps> there we are, little friend and pal. Is there anything else that I might do for you? Well, now that you mention it, Wally, I had my doctor prepare a little list. Fresh mahi mahi? Why, that's preposterous. Oh, Wally! Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mahi Mahi isn't in season for another week, yeah. I'll have it flown in from Maui. The fumes flew in the top. Magazines, food trays, big screen TV, stereo with their CD player, hot tub. That's it. Enough of this molly coddling business. There. <laughs> this should look good at your sentencing. <laughs> As the Grand Rises is almost on. I just need a glass of water. Oh. Ah. Wally! Jump and Yemeni. Why don't you wait a moment, you big. Wally, how's about a lullaby to put me to sleep? Uh, Okie dokie, Woody. Wally, I need something a little more soothing. Mm, maybe a little more classical, Wally. Now, uh, play them all together, Wally. Please? Wally, it's too dark in here. Wally, move the bed closer to the TV. Uh, Wally, it's too bright in here. Wally! Okay, buddy. Will that be all for now, Mr. Woodpecker, sir? Mm-hmm. If you should need anything else, simply pull this cord and I'll be here in a yiffy. Now I must go to sleep. Night, Wally. Don't go far. I may need a neck rub. <laughs>
<laughs> Sleep. Hey, Walrus, your snoring is keeping me awake. Would you go sleep someplace else? Oh, oh, and bring me a glass of tepid milk, please. Wally? Wally, what's the matter? Hey, Wally, what's the matter? So, Dr. Nuts, the whole thing was a fraud. Well, apparently I was not aware that the little fellow was faking it. But, Your Honorship, sir, I, I assure you I... Silence! In light of this evidence, I have no choice but to sentence you, Mr. Woodpecker, to nurse this poor, helpless creature back to health. <laughs> Take a trip somewhere. How's about taking a trip some when? Some when? That's right, chum. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Buzz Buzzard, scientist, PhD, MD, I O U. And this here is my esteemed colleague, Professor Tweaky the Wacky, E I E I O. We would like to offer you a trip no travel agency can provide. A trip back in time. Yeah, we'll take you anywhere in time for, say, a hundred bucks? Nightly times. Prehistorical times. Space times. Cowboy times. Slap some chaps on me and call me Pappy. We're going to the Old West. Partner. What do I get to do once I'm there, partner? Where? Uh, uh, do? Why, uh, One-Eyed Jack, baddest hombre there ever was, is gonna rob a bank. And you get to try and capture him for the reward. What are we waiting for? We are now traveling through time. Quick. Give me one western town, Tweaky. That's the Titanic sinking! Ooh, we're back in the Ice Age now. Watch out for the mastodons! Whoa! Look out for the stock market crash! To the wild wet. I mean west. Towel fee, 20 bucks. A towel's not included? I'm afraid everything is a la cash. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to capture. Huh? Well, I'll be hog tied. I'm gonna capture a bad guy, alright. It won't be one eyed Jack. But first, I'll make those two vermits wish they'd never met Sheriff Woody. Hey there, sod busters. You got any idea where a dude can get a fast horse in this town? One fast horse coming right up, Sheriff. Oh, hey, why do I gotta be the horse? Just get out there, and when it gets on you, like this... <clears throat> oh, there's discomfort. You start bucking. The faster you dump him, the faster he'll want something else we can stick him for. <laughs> One horse, 50 bucks.
What do y'all say we forget the hoss, boss? I got me a hankering for some honky tonk music. Sure, pal. Honky tonk tunes is what the old West is practically known for. So you distract him with your charm and disgrace. Then I'll shove him into the player piano, grab his wallet, and we'll get out of this cowboy con. There's just one problem. What's that? Well, this bonnet classes with these shoes. Get out there. Be the new sheriff. Play me something fast and lively. Trap to capture that Boyd and take his wallet once and for all time. I'm way too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> See that big X? That's where I buried the dynamite. <laughs> And when the woodpecker gets there, I let him have it a lot. Oh, I got it, boss. Hey, woodpecker, this here town ain't big enough for the both of us. I thought exactly, one-eyed Jack. You ain't exactly the shiniest lure in the tackle box, are you, Woodpecker? Now, Tweaky! <laughs> nice job, Woodpecker. We've been after these two for a long time. I guess it's true what they say, officer. Time doesn't pay. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Hippo, we have the finest honeymoon package here at the Comfy Ordable Inn, you bet ya. Ooh! <laughs> uh, e. Special in-room massage service, complimentary everything, and commemorative photos will be taken of you and the blushing bride. <laughs> Chauncey, I do hope the rest of the honeymoon package is better than this. So sorry. Welcome to the Comfy Ordable Inn. Hey, buddy, why'd you let that big lummox walk all over you like that? The customer is always right, sir. How can I make things right for you? You can stop with the carpet sweeping and tell me how much for a room. Well, our one bedroom is modestly priced at one hundred dollars per night. A hundred bucks? <laughs> the comfy audible inn, Bolivar speaking. <laughs> but, 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 but this inn shouldn't be sold to some big, big company. Oh, doinky, doinky. When the buyer comes tomorrow, he'll clean this place out for sure. And you bet that clean out includes firing me, yeah? Say, uh, Wally. If I can show you how to save your job, will you let me stay the night for free? Sure. My job is worth the price of one night's stay. What's your idea, Mr. Smarty Feathers? Ooh, I'm not so sure about this, Woodpecker. Trust me, it'll work like a charm. Talk 
Welcome to the Comfy Artable Inn, where we'll either treat you like a king or, hey, we won't. Do you have my traveling coat cleaned and pressed? Oh, and get my luggage. Is that fast enough for you? No, 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 no. You can't do that. Wally, will you stick to the plan? Boop. Yeah, now you're getting it. When the buyer shows up tomorrow, he won't be interested in this place because all the guests checking out are going to be very, very unhappy with their stay. Go for it, Wally. Save your job. Hey, let me have the suit cleaned and pressed while you wait, okay? Yeah? Oops. Hey, I'm sorry. It's wrong. <laughs> this is the worst hotel I've ever stayed in. That's gonna be our new motto. Now show our guest to his room, Wally. <laughs> Next stop, room 225. <laughs> I think you're finally getting the hang of this, Wally old chum. Yeah? I am! I like this idea of being Ding Dong Bellhop's woodpecker. <laughs> Room 217, the honeymoon suite. Come on, woodpecker, we got work to do. It's about time you got here. We wish to complain about... <laughs> Complimentary honeymoon pictures. Woody, make up. Now this is service. <laughs> Ooh, Lukey. Time to recreate the crossing of the threshold. Yeah! Outside, Miss is here. Oh. Hey, what's the big idea? Oopsie. Now you see here. Hey, sweet is cheese. Hey, Wally. Maybe you ought to lighten up a little, buddy. It looks like you could use some of our honeymoon special sarsaparilla. No, Wally, you're crossing way over the line here. <laughs> Woodpecker, they'll hate my service so good, yeah? They'll complain, and the buyer will never buy this place. You're a genius. <laughs> and you've gone full on bazooties, you big fruitcake. Now stop. <laughs> that does it, buddy. You're on your own. I'm going to bed. In my free room. It looks like my job here is done. Swedish massage service! Get out! I didn't know what to do. I must stop. Party service! <laughs> Smart service! <laughs> All the customers have been annoyed. <laughs> Except one. Yeah. Room service! Hmm. I didn't order room service. <laughs> Whoa! Wally! What are you doing? Uh, you'll have the bad service, so you complain tomorrow, too, yeah? <laughs> 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 Wally! Get a hold of yourself, man! <laughs> Wally Wallace, at your service. Oh, what is the meaning of this? I, uh, I've never been... I'd never buy a place this poorly run in a million years. My deal is off. Ooh, woodpecker! He did it! He did it! <laughs> well, looks like no more demanding customers will ever stay here again. That's right. We took care of them, yeah, you bet. Now go enjoy your room. Free of charge for as long as you like. Fjordable at last.
in 15 minutes. Now go find me some wildlife for my wildlife show. Yes, Helga. Anything you say, Helga. <sighs> hmm. Someday the star will say Monty, host of Monty's Magical Wildlife Show. But not today. The pie's particularly good today. Hold on. You're a wildlife. <laughs> Nothing's wilder than a penguin. Penguins just love fishies, and this will be the perfect bait. Life is so gullible. Helga, Helga, I got me a penguin, and it's got a little hat. I like that. Let's shoot it. Money! Back in a flash. The gumbo's decidedly delish. Well, good thing I didn't recommend the sampler tray. Oops. Get the penguin. Forget the penguin. Let me make this easy for you, okay? Get me the polar bear! Offer him anything he wants. All the food he can eat. Just get him on the show! Or you're fired! I could host a better wildlife show than Hollywood Helga any day. Sorry, Penguin. Helga wants the polar bear. No can do, Penguin. The polar bear got the nod for Helga's show. You know, you are one persistent little penguin. I'd put you on my show, if I had one. That's right, you'd get a TV contract and all the food you could eat. Why, that's downright Machiavellian, Penguin. You'll go places in Hollywood, I can tell. Everything myself. 
This is Helga's Wilderness Show. Today we'll meet a polar bear up close and personal. <laughs> Marty! So long, Helga. Hello, Monty's Wildlife Show. <laughs> Marty! Today, Monty's magical wilderness show will visit a very special penguin at home in his most comfortable setting. It's another great skiing exhibition, folks. The great Swedish skiing superstar is just about to break the world's record. Oh, goody, goody. I love skiing, yeah. Nothing in the world gives me so much joy. <gasps> what do you think you are doing? Wondering who would watch an old-fashioned sport like skiing. Hey, was watching it. Oh, so you're old-fashioned. Get your hands off of me. You better watch it, Woodpecker. Skiing is the sport of my fatherland. More like the sport of your grandfather, Land. Snowboarding's where it's at. Yeah, well, skiing's the greatest sport. Snowboarding. Skiing. I still say snowboarding's the best. Can't decide on the best method to get down a frozen mountain? Then you should sign up for the Inertiathon, the all-out freestyle race to the bottom of Mount Incline Plain. It's the downhill experience of a lifetime. What's in it for you? Well, the first to reach the bottom wins 50 bucks, a year's supply of cornmeal, and a firm handshake. This will settle it once and for all, you bet. I challenge you to the race. You're on. Well, here we are with two lively contestants who hope to settle the debate of which is better. Ski! Snowboarding! <laughs> Although there's some folk who stick to the old standby, tobogganing. Hiya, buddy. Tobogganing! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this little difference of opinion will be settled on the slopes. Racers to your marks! Hey, Wally, your boot's untied. Hold my poles, Woodpecker. Get set! Woodpecker, my poles. Here you go! Go! Some ski vax. If he wants to stick to skiing, I'll make him stick but good. This glue will do the trick. <laughs> skiing, I will go. Skiing, I will go. I will beat the woodpecker and make him eat my snow. Try snowboarding, Wally. I'm a ski. I show them a thing or two. Well, at least I landed safely. Sure showed that too, Planker. Wow. 
barely get through that. Oh, ugly mowgli. Moguls are my specialty. <laughs> 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 Woodpecker! See you later, Wally. <laughs> ah, hello. This is Wally. Remember that favor you said you owed me? Well, I want the woodpecker taken care of. You know what I mean? Consider it done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Swedish meatballs. Time to meet your maker, Woodpecker. Get it? Meet your maker. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Oh my gosh! Swedish Hitman! Oh yeah? Bye bye. <laughs> Hey, how come they're laughing? Hiya, buddy. Ah! Oh, goody. There's the finish line. Another great toboggan victory! How does tobogganing compare with skiing and snowboarding? I told you! The world's greatest sport is tobogganing! Nothing higher! Nothing closer to perfection! How many times do I have to tell you? Can't you people get a three reds? Tobogganing rules! Oh, it's my purpose in life. <laughs> Easy to find us horses hereabouts, partner. Eh, I've forgotten more about horse riding than most people will ever know, partner. And it's all about the rider, not the horse. Well, I see your ego's as big as your hat. Let me show you what else we got. Nope. 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 Too pricey. Five bucks. Now we're talking. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Woodpecker. See, uh, we just got money here from a royal hacienda down south. He ain't broke in for nothing but sitting around and looking pretty. Spoiled rotten, eh? You'd be lucky to get him out of the barn, much less on with the trail. I'll bet you five bucks that I'll not only get him going, but that I can beat you guys to the bottom of the canyon doing it. Your own, city slicker. Let's move him out. See you at the bottom, Woody. Not if I see you first. <laughs> First rule of trail riding, a sleeping mule is not a riding mule. Wakey, wakey! thinks he's high society, does he? Well then, I'm gonna meet this mule on his own terms. 
Oh, I'm saved! Dear boy, I've lost my pedigree polo horse and the match begins in only minutes. Clearly a ride of your stature could substitute. <coughs> oh, good show! Now see here, my boy, what you must do is catch up with the polo ball wherever it goes. <laughs> Right then, good show, old chum. Now let's continue our sojourn down the trail to the polo field. Huh? Well, what's the matter, old bean? You've never even been out on a trail before, have you? <laughs> well, not to worry. Rule number four, when you got them where you want them, kill them with kindness. All a mule must do on the trail is place one hoof in front of the other and march. Left, right, left, right. Just like being back at the academy, eh, old bean? Got it? <gasps> Monty? <clears throat> Unacceptable. I ride you. March. There, there. Now you've got it. <gasps> now this is a simple turn. I say, you're a natural. With my superior riding skills, I could turn you into a show-quality mule. Say... Ooh, no more lefts! Now turn right and don't let the coyotes bite. over there hiding, you big coward. Now, what's it gonna take to turn you into a riding mule, you yellow-bellied, spoiled bag of scaredy bones? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's it. Riding rule number five. Treat a mule like a mule. But you gotta get him in a listening mood first. You want this to be your last trail ride? I could just as easily leave you out here, you know. Now, let's ride before the avalanche gets us. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You broke that mule good. Here you go, city slicker. Your five bucks for the mule ride. Five bucks? Uh, uh, are you serious? Oh, I I'm so worth more than five bucks. I I'm at least worth a hundred bucks now. Oh, if you had any sense, you'd hire him to teach all your rides, Tex. He's fabulous! And, and, and I'm fabulous now for him because I can cook and I can do things with wood. I can even, I can even mend it. Installment from the Golden Gizmo Club. I wonder what it's gonna be. Hmm. Boy, oh boy. An oil dowser? Just point and follow. Your oil dowsing gizmo will find oil anywhere. I'm gonna be ready. Hi, Wally. 
What are you doing? It's not me, Wally. It's my dowser. It finds oil. See? Yeah, sure. My motor oil, you crazy woodpecker. Now take your silly stick and... Hey! <laughs> Oinky doinky. Not my Swedish cooking oil. We gotta get out of here, man. We're covered in oil. <laughs> What's it doing? It's looking for more oil. And when it finds some real Texas crude, I'm gonna be rolling in dough. Ooh, it's for that kind of oil. Let me add that stick. It's mine! <laughs> it's going after the cod liver oil. Come back! Taxi! Follow that stick. With you. Yeah, what kind of sneaky woodpecker deal is this? Nothing sneaky. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You help me get that dowser, and we'll split everything 50-50. Hmm. Okay. It's a deal. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Come here, my little dowsing stick. Look what Uncle Wally's got for you. Oof. Don't worry, Wally. You'll be packed and ready to go in no time. See ya! <laughs> what kind of partner cans his other partner? Mr. Greedy Pants. What's mine is yours. And yours is mine. <laughs> Wally, look! Wally, there's oil down there! Oh, there must be oil on my property. Property, bub. Ten feet by mm, twenty yards. By Yingo, this satellite proves it. The oil is definitely on my property. I dig on my side, and you can dig on yours. Oh, haven't I just had enough of your shenanigans? Hit something, yeah? Yeah. Stand back. <laughs> Oil. Oh, I'm rich, Lord. man. I'm going to rich, buy rich, a rich. pony. But ah! arrest them both. What did we do? Oh, not much. You just busted into my company's oil pipeline, blew out about a truckload of oil, creating an environmental hazard. Is that enough? 
This is all your fault, Woodpecker. My fault? I get Don't my give me that. Package for three seven two five five seven six. Oh boy, it's from the Golden Gizmo Club, Wally. How to turn rocks into gold? Oh no, you don't. Haven't you learned your lesson? Hey, quit it, quit it! I'll share with you, Wally. Birthday, not head and splinter. Yay! Black Forest cake with sawdust topping. Our favorite. I'll go get your present out of my car. You blow out the candle so the wish fairy can grant you your wish. <laughs> wish fairy, right? This sure looks like the place. Let's wish for a pet dinosaur. <gasps> Wait, where would we keep a dinosaur? Nah, let's think of something else. Hey, let's wish for laser eyes. <gasps> Hold it. Nah, we'd fry our Zakazoba comics just looking at them. Hey, what about... Nah. What about... Nah. Nope. Oh, I don't have time for this. <gasps> I'm Tweaky, your wish fairy. Here to make your birthday wish come true a lot. And I haven't got all day. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I got 4,997 frequent wisher points. I grant just three more wishes and I get a free trip to Bora Bora. So make it snappy. What's your wish? Um, er, we, uh, I don't know, uh, we wish we could fly like you. Yeah, please make us fly. Make you fly. Got it. Yippity dippity. <laughs> Wookily hoo. <laughs> Yeah, close enough. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Awesome. Oh, looks like a wall is making a wish with a dandelion. Duty calls. Here you go, kids. Uh, kids? Wow. Woohoo, our present. Hmm. Looks like they ate and took off. Hmm, all the better for me. I'm pooped. What he got us? <laughs> Uncle Woody! Uncle Woody! Help, Help us open our present! <laughs> hey, I'm napping here. Darn flies! about a dandelion. He's gonna grant Wally a wish. <gasps> no, you two again? What? We want a different wish. Well, Top Cookies, there's one wish per birthday. And besides, I'm not backtracking when I now only need two wishes to get to Bora Bora. Scram! <laughs> Hmm, these dandelions are tricky by Yingo. So, tonight, we wish on the first star we see. And he'll have to give us a new wish. Uh, until then, we, we gotta stop him from giving out his last two wishes. <laughs> no, do I have to do everything myself? Hello? Congratulations, Mr. Walrus! Anything you could ever wish for could be yours! You've just won ten million dollars in the sweetest meatball square your sweet stacks! I won a lot of money! All my wishes will come true! I'm going to buy a pony! I'm going to buy a pony! Yay, da, 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 da. Now, where did that walrus go? 
Oh, what now? Lady with a whisper. Uh -oh. Skip the walrus. Okay, I'm all over this one. <laughs> He's gonna go give Miss Meanie one of his last wishes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wish this! <laughs> At last, I can wish for that new pair of orthopedic arch-rival loafers! Ah. <laughs> hey, what the... Whoa! I'll be... Get back here! Ta-da! Wiki the Wish Fairy, here to grant you one wish. Provided, of course, you can break the wishbone. Huh? Oh, the turkeys! <laughs> wish fairies! <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Let's get out of here! Uh-oh. <laughs> Take oh. that! <laughs> <sighs> My very godmother told me there'd be days like this. There's the first star, Splinter. Now we get a new wish. A wish? You want a wish? I'll tell you a good wish. I wish I could start the whole day over. Ah! What's happening? Splinter, we're back in time. Oh, I, I'm right back where I started. Three more wishes to win my vacation. We want our birthday wish over again. We want to be wish fairies, just like you. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No way! If you want your trip to Bora Bora, make us wish fairies. No, oh, I'm such a sellout. <laughs> now leave me alone! I gotta get a new job. That car chase had more twists than a mutated pretzel. <sighs> Being a detective would be so exciting. Now you're taking the fall, little lady. The clues tell me the real killer is someone with huge ears. <laughs> A long nose. <laughs> and he's prone to drooling. Aha! Uh -huh. The perp was under my nose the whole time. You're taking the fall. A bell went off, and I knew there was no way this pooch was the pilferer. Because for a canine, he's actually about a K2. I opened the door to a guy who looked like he'd just been hit by a truck full of handsome. Pardon me, ma'am. Do you want a vacuum cleaner? He was no slouch in the sweet talk department, either. A vacuum? Uh, sure, I have one, but it's in the shop. Sorry to bother you, then. Say, are you part of the Neighborhood Patrol Program? Uh, yeah. Some nut jobs been stealing vacuum cleaners in the area. Oh! I could help get the word out. Leave it to the professionals, ma'am. I was in the mood to return videos without rewinding them. Drink milk right out of the carton a day after the expiration date. Oh. It took some convincing. But Chandler saw the light. Winnie P.I. was on the job. First thing I did was plaster the town with flyers. <laughs> Deputy Dizzy, go to the other side of town. I'll whistle if I need backup. <laughs> now to find out how this vacuum cleaner crook's mind worked. This crazy woodpecker was nosing into my business. She made me want to scream louder than a yodeler in tight underwear. I told Chandler the best P.I.s always nose around the scene of the crime. We're here to ask you about your stolen vacuum cleaner, ma'am. Where were you on the night of... <clears throat> I'll have this, Red. Get a clue. 10-4, Chandler. 
I'm on it like gum on a sidewalk. Don't mind the mess. I'm dusting for clues. <laughs> I figured I'd dust for prints. It's a dirty job, mostly because of the dirt. Hear me that. Go secure the crime scene. My partner was feeling the pressure. We needed a break worse than an out-of-work orthopedic surgeon. Suddenly, I had what might be a clue. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a footprint. By the looks of things, the crook was either an enormous centipede with hundreds of feet, or a man who walked with two shoes on. I decided to trace his every move. What we had here was a sweet tooth vacuum cleaner thief with size 8 W's. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hmm. When in doubt, improvise. Let's have a look at the closet where you kept the missing vacuum. What day is today? Uh, three. Where do you live? Ten Amp Street. Give me that. So, with my partner out on the mend, I was left alone for a stakeout. I found the perfect bait. The TurboVac 200 on a lure out beef. wasn't at your house for any neighborhood patrol. I was casing your joint red to steal your vacuum. But the neighborhood patrol posters. I was taking them down. But you got some cockamamie idea I was the law. <gasps> Who are you? I own a cleaning service. Business was so bad, I figured... If you steal all the vacuums in town, business will skyrocket. But then you had to stick your nosy beak into things. I want you to know, mister, whatever you're thinking, you can just forget, because you're taking the fall. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this Chandler character was slicker than the shine on a freshly licked lollipop. But we stuck to the case like glue and got our man. The streets were safe once more for vacuum cleaners everywhere. Winnie P.I. and Deputy Dizzy were on the job. 